The following story is based on completely fictitious events. Uh, hey, Logan. I came into work today. Trailer and truck is gone. You need to call me back as soon as possible. And uh, I noticed that you're scheduled off today. You better not be doing any of that hunky-dory import drift stuff you keep talking about. Call me back as soon as possible. This is not a game. I have the feeling you think this is some sort of game. It's not a game, buddy. I've learned it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. <laughs> God, I hope I don't get fired. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. We got the rig. It's really big. You can't tell. It's 764 foot. It's a gooseneck. So that'll be fun to try to learn how to drive one of those. Let's go blow an engine up. The movie business calls that foreshadowing. Tell them, it's funny. All right, we made it to Dynasty Hell. He's back in action. He's so excited. I know he's super, super pumped to tune this car. But we are Dynasty. We have the 240 on the dyno. We are unloaded. This is, as far as I know, the first car in the nation to be tuned on the new Terminator X system. And what better person to pilot that program than Hal and Dynasty in Louisville, Kentucky. And the fact of the matter is, I, I don't have any control over the short block. It was already in the car when I bought it. Oh, now I see. I jinxed myself. You see, this is okay. This makes sense. Hey! Hi! They got, they got a bunch of just random awesome cars here. That one right there, that thing's coming for some redemption this year, baby. So we made it through three or four poles and uh, disaster struck. I wasn't filming at the time. It's all Hal's fault, basically. That's how we're gonna round that conversation out. It's not supposed to look like that. That's, uh, that's bad, it's bad news bears. So we had to go get a new turbo, which we did. On the shelf, Brian Tilly Racing, not a big deal. And we're back in action. Now, how did that turbo get destroyed. I don't want to tell you, but let's just say, let's just assume that the uh, stock PCV race circ, I don't even know what it's called on an LS1F body, you know, maybe this thing did or didn't shoot out of the throttle body and get sucked into the turbo. You know, that would be, there's no way, I, you know, that would have happened. So I'm home. Just a lot of emotions. A lot of emotions. You're probably wondering, Logan, you did no transition to tell us why you're home. The last clip was a dyno pole, and now you're in front of your house. Why? Nothing blew up in the video. Why? Why are you home, dude? I'll tell you, but first I gotta unload this pile of trash out of the trailer, so. Give me a minute. You know, everything happens for a reason. I haven't figured out, you know, when I'm gonna figure out what my reasons are. But I assume that this is God's way of testing me. Because apparently I don't, I don't get tested enough. Well, I, I know I don't get tested enough. Ooh, gross. I had to get a shower. I had to wash the filth off of me and the disappointment and the uh, uh, various other emotions. But let's dive into the 240 and what happened today on the dyno because there's so there's a few things I'd like to go over. Very interesting. And so the day started with 
<laughs> you can see my fix for now. The day started with that coming out, bouncing off the headlight, and then it's that piece that I showed you early, it settled into the, tur the compressor housing and chipped away that other turbo's uh, blade. So we drove to BTR and picked up another one of these, slapped it on, put it all back together, and got it back on the rollers. Started, we just started to do partial throttle stuff, and then uh, we had an issue where it wouldn't, the car wouldn't rev past 5,500 RPM. It kept cutting, and kept finding pipes that were blown off, silicone couplers that were blown off. Big surprise there. My eBay jobber on the piping didn't work. Fixed that with some T-bolt clamps. We were good there, and some hairspray. We were good there. And a few pulls later, on 22 pounds of boost, it was only making 600 wheel, which is obscenely low. 78, 75, 53, E85, 22 pounds of boost. That's easily 750 plus. I had a 74, 75 on a 53 through a TH400 makes 700 wheel on 19 pounds. So something, something wasn't sitting right with me at that point anyway. I bought this car under the impression that it had a rebuilt short block that it had a it had a gen 3 short block with gen 4 rods gen 4 pistons new bearings new rings gapped for boost and uh that's as far as i'll go in terms of that just to to keep the peace but uh it was supposed to be a fresh short block fresh to death and it died so after the last series of i think we we totally only had seven or eight full poles and after one of the last poles Hal, uh, Dynasty, owner tuner, Hal calls me over and he's like, yo, when he points at the oil pressure gauge and we're at like five, six pounds at idle. I was like, man, that's not right. So I was like, rev it, just give it some gas. Let's see, you know, let's see if it picks up. Gives it a little bit of fuel. I'm sorry, a little bit of throttle and it flutters up to like 25, 30 PSI, which is awesome. Totally fine with that. What's not awesome is what it sounded like. It's about... Uh, it's about what it sounded like. Now I'm human. Unfortunately, I'm human. So I get emotional, I get angry. So I'm not the best at filming myself or situations when I'm upset. So I had to put the camera down because I was a little perturbed. Still am, but it is what it is. That's life, right? You roll with the punches. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and here is where my tenacity will have to kick in. I called Colin at Holly, who's not only uh, uh, an amazing uh, EFI manager, shout out Colin, but he's also a very good friend. And I explained what had happened and he's like, well, are you done with the car? And I'm like, yeah, it's going up for sale tonight. I'm done. Well, how done are you? I said, I'm done, dude. Turkey's cooked. Boop! Take it out of the oven, dude. Serve it to your guests. It's going to be dry and it's going to taste like disappointment and failure. I'm very sorry. We don't have stuffing this year. And then he said, Logan, Number one, dumping all those bolts off into a Kirky seat was stupid. You're gonna have to pick them all up. For the sake of a video, you're an idiot. And number two, come on down to Bowling Green. We have a 5.3. We'll sell it to you for a good price. Let's get this thing back together. Well, you don't have to cook my goose twice for me to go to do that. But for the, to get the goose, huh? So that's where I'm at in life. I'll have to pull the engine out of the car, tear it all the way down to a bare short block, swap all of those parts over, and get it all back together. Not sick. This is a not sick situation. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. That song played when it started to rod knock in my head. But that's all I got. Uh, there'll be a full short block teardown video to follow. And I'm very, very excited to, to see what's going on inside there. But for now, I'm done. I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, also, my kitten has ringworm. Came home and, and found that out. So that's a nice little cherry on my shit Sunday. Bye. I'm tired.